So when I took that, uh, it was a massage stool, when I took that apart, I had this wood here. You can see where all the staples were. I think it was like 80 staples or something like that. But then it has this foam rubber. Now it had like a thin, like a real thin layer of foam rubber going all the way around. It was kind of like glued to this. Like, and uh, because of the cover, the cover is not just one piece. It's one piece all around here. And then another piece sewn on here. Well, I'm not that good at that, so I'm not going to sew that back. But this here is actually kind of firm, which is a good thing. It's like a good support. Now, this, I went out and I bought this. I have pictures earlier on there. Um, this is a memory foam pillow. And what I didn't realize is you have two sides to it. One side is allegedly the softer part. And the other part is the firmer. Okay, so the green is definitely softer, and the gray is definitely the firmer half. Now, the weird thing about this, I, I've had memory foam pillows before, but I never took them out of the cover. The weird thing about this, this is like tacky. It's actually like sticky. If I was to put this down on the carpet, I would pick up lint and any debris that might be on there. But in a way, that's going to be kind of cool because what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it on here. So I have this heavy-duty base and then the soft or the probably the soft on top. And I say, yeah, the green is the soft. So I have the really soft going into a little bit firmer going into the extra firm down here. And originally I was thinking I'd have to glue this on. Well, apparently I don't because it's it's like sticky. So it'll it'll hold in place once I put this other fabric over it. Now I've been watching a couple videos on how to upholster something that's round. Oh my god. That's going to be a real pain in the balls. But anyway, that's where I'm at so far. As you can see, I have uh, I don't I don't have the memory foam attached to this yet. I just had this out just to kind of test. I wanted to see if this material would um, stretch over pretty easy, and it does. It's pretty thick. Now I got this stuff at Hobby Lobby, which is a great place to pick up chicks, by the way. Anyway, not that I have, but it's my bucket list. Anyway, um. This looks like alligator, and I don't know if this camera is doing it justice or this light. It's kind of weird, but it's a real dark brown with uh, some black in some of the lines. And the back of it kind of looks like uh, like denim. 
that's pretty thick stuff and the plan will be at some point not now but when I put the uh, memory foam uh, on this side and then I'm gonna put um, another piece of wood or some um, circular shaped thing on top of here between this and the memory foam because I tried that and it seemed like it worked really good and on the bottom I don't know if you can see it over here, but this guy, that goes back on there. That, by the way, is what I use to test drive between the two different foams, and it worked great. But that's going to go back on the bottom, and then, of course, that's going to get going. Originally, I was just going to put, like, some pretty plain uh, feet on it, like the, co the casters that I had. I was going to put those back on, but I may not with this, with this alligator thing going on. I'm going to try to make some freaking claws somehow. Nice. I love you guys. Okay, like I was uh, trying to explain the other night, um, this is the original foam and a, a small piece of plywood that was on the stool. And there was also this wrap around there but, of foam, but that sucked. It was falling apart. Anyway, this is what I picked up today. I have that as centered as I possibly can. I'm driving myself nuts doing that shit. Is it centered? Is it centered? I need my OCD people here. Anyway, that's going to be there. And then this is that, that poor memory foam pillow that I just ripped all to hell. Uh, and by the way, unless you have like a heat knife, don't even, I mean, this is not worth it. I don't think a bandsaw would do it because it's too sticky. Uh, bread knife. Didn't do it. Scissors, kind of. Razor knife only like touched the surface. That pair of scissors over there basically trimmed a lot of this, and you can see why um, that looks like that. I mean, I could smooth it out, I suppose, but I don't know if it's going to matter. Now, thing is, this original piece was wider than this one. Now, I could cut the sides down on that, that but hey, <laughs> we've been there, done that. And maybe I'll wind up getting like a saddle effect I don't know if I have some kind of issues down on this side once I pull that material on there um, who knows man maybe I could put some kind of handle looking things on the sides I don't know but anyway uh, next picture I'm gonna have is this thing upside down ready to get the uh, material put on but that's gonna be a, a total pain in the balls too All right, what I did is I put the part on there and I f pulled it up on both sides and it does take up a lot of uh, real estate. But I marked the center of that alligator stripe thing so I catch that. And then what I did is I measured from there, the edge, to the center and I just put some marks up here and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a big swikel. Cut that out because that will be a lot easier to work with than the squares and all kinds of weird shit. What a pain in the balls. So in order to not have a total pain in the ass when I go to when I, when I put the, uh, the whole thing down and coming up on both sides and stapling and all that shit, if I, if I leave this like squared out like this, or actually rectangle, 
there's way too much material on the corners and that's going to be really hard to try to get this thing like really straight and smooth which I don't know if I'm going to be able to do anyway but that in mind I have to cut out a circle you don't want to free form a circle I know I don't so what I do since I have uh, all four points of the compass as it were marked I got that one I got the one that's underneath me right now I got this guy and this guy I have those marked what I'm going to do so I'm just going to use this this is just a charge cord I'm going to use this I can find the right spot for it and make sure I'm on the center and we'll just go like this let's see if that works is it gonna is it gonna is it gonna oh hell yeah it's close enough for rock and roll I mean if we're like even if I was like an inch off which would kind of suck I don't to see how I could get that far off but if I was an inch off that would be okay looks like I was maybe like a half inch on this side all right I'm having difficulties here Get that in the center again. So right here, there we go. We have to go out a little bit to compensate for that wrinkle that started in the material. And oh man, that one like hit dead on, dead nuts. And this one will come right up to the end. I don't want to put ink on the carpet. Not a good thing. So in a pinch, the diver man. So right now, I have all four sides stapled, and then eventually I'm going to start to like pull this up and try not to let it wrinkle much, but that's going to be tough because the videos I've seen where they've done this, they're doing it on like a, a piece of plywood and like foam that might be, might be two inches thick. This thing, it's got about six inches of foam and a piece of wood in between and all that. Now on the bottom, once I get that all squared away, ha ha ha, this goes on there, and you can screw the base to this, and there's also some screw holes here where you screw it in, and the middle is like really extra thick because there's a button for the hydraulic on the bottom of the actual stool. Now the one thing that I may have to do, God I hate even think about this, this is the original cover that came on there, it's kind of a a thick leather thing but if you look real close it's a circle but it has this piece of material here going all the way around it you know maybe that is the better way you know because this thing it had that original foam like this and this was taking up that and then you pull it over and staple it so I may have to go that route the only thing is I have absolutely no idea uh, how I would uh, go about sewing that stuff. I mean, I guess I could learn, but actually what I need to do is go back to Hobby Lobby because I have to get more material and find some cute chick who can do that stuff and have her do it for me. I told you I, I was on my bucket list. All right. Adios. All right, before you saw how I had it stapled up, it looked a lot looser than this. That was because, because I had these oddball widths on here you could see a lot of that stuff on here. So I had to pull it really, really tight. As you can see from here, that's going to be kind of rough. I'm going to have to really pull this stuff tight. And the thing that's kind of cool, I guess I did get this to line up right down the center. Nice. There's the round part on the bottom, and this part here is more, I mean, it's rounded on the edges, but it's straight on other edges. And I think it's going to wind up kind of looking almost like a saddle in a way, but it'll be cool. So far, so good. But this this next step, pulling all this stuff up, that is not for tonight. 
I got it in place. It's sitting there. Maybe I'll throw another staple in each one of these to make sure it doesn't explode in the middle of the night and fly around the room. All right. Well, anyway, that's enough of that shit for now. Okay, so we got this thing cut down to a smaller circle, and I'm putting in grommets, no like real science to them, I just do one on that side, then one here, then I find the middle and go there to there, then bisect, and I'm going to do that maybe one, one more time for sure, maybe two more times, because right now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in in here and I want to get more because I'm going to use paracord to put it on top of there and tighten it down maybe I'll get some uh, little pleat looking things but if I can keep those under control it'll be better than that last look I had because I mean although that was kind of cool it really wasn't doing it for me alright that's enough for right now So this is what I have right now. I got, I think I got like 16, maybe 18 holes, 16 holes. And I, I'm going around this way. I tried going across like this, but that turned into a nightmare, man. Because I'm going to be compressing this thing down. And it was just too much slack, too many lines. It was like no way. So I'm going to try it like this and see what happens. Okay, this is what we got so far. Uh, the pleats, they're, they're okay. I mean, they're not perfect, but that's cool. I like it. Um, the rubber, the plastic dip that I sprayed on, I sprayed this shit on heavy. Um, it's like so fucking red. I mean, I like contrast, but I kind of wanted to keep this in the same flavor as this, you know, the top. So I did get some, like, metallic spray that's kind of a, a bronze it's not copper it's not that brassy looking but it's kind of a bronze color so it's brownish and it sort of matches this color I guess a little bit what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray some of that it's because it's spray paint I'm gonna spray some of that onto a paper plate not on the Dave's carpet that wouldn't be good just imagine a paper plate here <laughs> I spray some paint on there and I take a balled up uh, garbage bag you know like from Jewel uh, Publix um, Walmart, there, that's that's a, a universal translation. Take a Walmart bag, get it all bunched up like this, and you put it in the paint, and then on another paper plate that has no paint, you just kind of dab some of the excess off, and then you just randomly go up here so I can bring down the red a little bit. I still like the red, but i got to bring that down a little bit. Now, the one thing about this, oh, I, yeah, this is zooming in pretty good. You can see there's like a little spot there I was antsy like I always am with paint and I did not wait long enough or I didn't take a razor knife and like maybe cut around before I took the painter tape off because uh, I was protecting all this here but what I thought I would do is I would either touch up that paint or I could do something else so what I did is I went out and I got this which is such fucking overkill and I'm going to take this and I'm going to go around the bottom and I'm going to get the exact measurement and then you know so it's tight and I'm just going to glue it to itself 
and then maybe on there. And I might like wrap up a ways, but I don't want to take away too much of the black. I mean, maybe I could go up like halfway or something. I don't know. We'll see what happens there. I also have some paracord that I can intertwine with that. So we'll see. And um, the wheels. The wheels, uh, I guess some folks would say that that's a disaster, but it's really not. I mean, I ordered some stationary wheels that are about like two inches high, so it'll bring it up high enough where I won't get this effect. Because that's only happening because the bottom of the hydraulic piston is down there. Oh, yeah. You can see the hydraulic piston. This thing, it's quite a bit of uh, range on this, you know. So, I mean, it, it's going to be kind of cool. So I can play on it, shorter people, taller people, whoever. But anyway, the wheels, um, like I said, I ordered those stationary ones. So that's backup. The ones I have now, I put um, JB Weld first, to you know, the, the wheel part to, uh, to stop that from uh, moving. And it kind of work but then I had to use um, I had some like crazy glue I put that in there that finished uh, seasoning up the wheel part but the things have a swivel also you know you got five uh, wheels on a chair you want to swivel around so you can make all kinds of movement well that swivel was harder to stop I tried uh, Gorilla Glue first that was a fail and then I tried um, JB well, which I thought that was going to rock, and that actually failed too. But the thing is, when I sit down, there's a lot of pressure on there, so if I move a little bit, it's got to be something really intense, like solid, so it doesn't move. But in the meantime, I can have the stationary ones I ordered off Amazon. They're real cheap too, man. I think it was like maybe 12 bucks for five of them. Hopefully, they're really strong. But I'll put these, I'll paint those up to make them look kind of cool. Put that on here. All right, hey, thank you. For being on this journey with me because that's all it is anyway it's just a journey i love you guys so it would be like that on the bottom and i think that's kind of cool because it's i got the red i'm going to keep the the extra the other feet i bought black i actually spray painted them with a high gloss but they were like black so i'm going to just leave those plain black I may, I may, since this is already red as hell, I may take that red sparkle stuff and spray a little bit on here just like for highlights. I was going to do that on the wheels, but or the feet, but it just did not look right. Anyway, I have a black, red with some sparkle possibly, then this tan color. I have paracord, or I have more of this, obviously, and I could do like a wrap if I do that. I'll maybe do a video and show you how that's done, actually. But then you have the brown-ish top, so the brown, and the light brown, kind of, then a red, and then black. I think it'll, it'll all be cool. I could even leave the bottom black. I definitely want to do something with this handle, though. This fucking handle is cool, but I want to, you know, maybe like a skull, or a shifter, or eight ball, or I don't know. I'll figure that out. All right. Later.
right here. Oh, it's comfy. This handle here tells me that it's the front. I can pull this up and go all the way down. I can release the pressure, pull it up. It goes way up. I mean, I'm not ever going to be playing this high. I mean, well, I'm not going to be playing that high. That's funny. Um, but I'll be playing roughly, uh, I don't know, maybe this high. You want to get kind of on a 90 degree angle. Um, I said this was done. The only thing I, I probably will do at some point is this here handle. Although it works, looks kind of hokey. So maybe I'll yank that off and I'll find something that I can put on there. Uh, eight ball, skull. I don't know, skull's kind of weird. But anyway, something like that. Maybe a little alligator head. Uh, I don't know. All right. This is done.